And welcome back, Brunswick, to Buzz on Business, brought to you by the Northern Medina County Chamber Alliance. Uh, here with me now in this segment, we have Miss Cindy Maxwell. Cindy, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Cindy comes to us from Cups Cafe, located just down in Medina. Uh, you can visit their website to learn all that you would like uh, after uh, this episode, but we're going to dive in to give you uh, a good little snapshot now because I'll tell you what, when I was checking out uh, what you guys are doing down there at Cups Cafe, mm -hmm. uh, I was really touched and, I, I, and I, I really think that we need to get the word out to the community. So let's just dive in, Cindy. What is Cups Cafe? Yeah. So we are a free community cafe where we feed anyone and everyone for free. And our primary focus is students. So okay. after school time frame, we um, get inundated with between 55 and 65 uh, middle school, high schoolers. Oh my goodness. And then towards the end of our day, we let what I call the littles in, which is our elementary school kids. Um, because they're all siblings or cousins of the teenagers, teenagers that are hanging out with us. And so it gives them just a little extra time before they have to go 55 home. 55 to 60 children are yeah. hanging out yeah. there a day. Mm -hmm. How big's yeah. the facility? Um, it's, it's not as big as it could be, but it's, it's pretty big. We have two sections in the front. So it started out as a train car diner back in the twenties. Okay. Um, and then it got built on and then it's actually always been different restaurants throughout the years. And so in the front room, we can hold about 35, 40, like if they're standing or sitting uh -huh. and then another 45 in the back. Oh my room. goodness. So, and the back room is where they like to hang out, especially the teenagers. Cause that's where the pool table is and foosball and so we have games and yeah. activities they do and we feed them for free so yeah that, and that's the big piece <laughs> so this is where kids are coming at um, to get a meal yeah um, sometimes is it their only meal sometimes it's their dinner okay. so whatever they're getting after school we do have a fair amount of kids who will take something home with them um, because we do have a small pantry and a community fridge for and freezer that we put stuff in like leftovers or things that we get donated that aren't enough to feed you know 80 to 100 mm -hmm. people a day so we give it away um, because everything we're given is given to us so, we so you're telling me 55 <laughs> 60 kids coming yeah. in there uh -huh. seven days a week five days five days a week, five days mm -hmm. a week yeah mm -hmm. getting a free meal uh -huh. Where, where's all it coming yeah. from <laughs> donations so we have really great corporate sponsors so sandridge crafted foods here in medina they make all of those grandma brands macaroni salads uh -huh. they also make a lot of gfs stuff so they give us stuff every single week really? that we're able to make stuff with so pre-made soups and salads that are already cooked we just warm them up and then we have um, organizations like automation tool and die in valley city who buy pizza every other week and have it delivered. You're kidding me. Automation's tool and die buys yeah. pizza for Cups Cafe yeah. every week. Every other week. Every yep. other week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's worth shouting out again. Automation's <laughs> tool and die. Tool and uh -huh. die. Thank yeah. you. That's cool. Yeah. And then we have Dominic's Italian Restaurant in Medina. They donate um, once a month. Wow. So they bring over two big pans of pasta and two large sheet pizzas. And that helps us feed the kids in the afternoon. Um, and then House of Hunan also does it once a month as well, where they give us either noodles or rice, and um, the kids really like House of Hunan. So. Do they? <laughs> oh, that's a yellow bit of delicacy there. Yes, yeah, yeah, nice. And then we basically have a ton of home cooks. So whether that is um, different church groups that have gotten together over the years, heard about what we're doing, and get together and make a bunch of casseroles. Okay. Um, UCC in Medina does once a month. Second Baptist in Medina does once a month. And so that's just them as a church deciding we're going to support you by bringing food. And then it opens it up to their whole congregation. And mm -hmm. so whoever is willing or able to make the food and donate it, um, make it and donate it. That is incredible. So you've got, what, 20, 20, 25 days a week that all these folks are coming through there that need need, need this food and, mm -hmm. and maybe you're counting on it. Getting, and, yeah. and so how is all that being organized? You say we, who's we? Yeah. <laughs> so Cindy, congratulations, two year anniversary. Yes, yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She had a long mm -hmm. history with Cups Cafe. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they, you said 17 years ago they were founded. 17 in November, yeah. So it would be 17 years in November yeah. they were founded, and then mm -hmm. uh, when uh, there was a little bit of turnover in the organization mm -hmm. two years ago, they called, and yeah. here she was trying <laughs> to send volunteers, and they said, no, "Back up." <laughs> We want you. And I'm so like, okay. that, so you're t so you've got all these organizations you're managing. 
the inflow, the outflow, the spoilage, the goods, the usage. Mm -hmm. Who's who's doing the work? Um, I'm the only full-time employee. I do have three part-time employees now. Thank you to my board of directors for letting me hire some extra help. And then we have about 35 volunteers every single week, like different volunteers. Yeah. It takes about 35 a week to run the cafe. Where did you meet those folks? Um, they've been either serving before I got there, but it is a community, you know, they heard from their churches, um, or they might have seen us online or somebody shared God a just filling the need. and Somebody's said, helped. oh, I can volunteer for a couple hours. Nice. And so we have a, a diverse group of like qualities. And mm -hmm. so there are some people who have been experienced with working in restaurants. Um, I have a couple of volunteers that have actually ran soup kitchens before. Wow. So they have so a lot of... So you got the of, right subject matter experts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and, and so Banj and all that, keeping the top on. Well, you know what? I think we could go on all day. The <laughs> website to visit mm -hmm. your page is... Yeah, www.cupscafe.org. Cupscafe.org. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Check it out. Cool video on there. There's a young man on there that has spent many years. I think Cindy personally helped him find an apartment. Yeah, we worked um, with a couple of our community resources because we feed people, that's our primary goal, but sometimes connecting them to the resources yep. that they need and having the questions and conversations that they aren't prepared to have um, is something that we do as well. And so nice. we were able to connect him with the right people and um, alternative paths and actually the item board were able to get him into an apartment. And he's been homeless off and on for years, so um, it makes it difficult. So this is some stability. <laughs> Start yes. coming in. Yeah. 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 Hey, hats off to you guys, all that you're doing there. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it takes folks like this, and it takes us learning about it uh, to keep those initiatives going, mm -hmm. uh, to keep this whole beautiful um, thing we call a democracy in this in this planet <laughs> uh, spinning on the right uh, on the right axle. So, mm -hmm. thank you, Cindy, for your thank time. You. Mm -hmm. Check them out, Cups Cafe. Stay with us. We'll be right back mm -hmm. at you coming in with chemical methods, Brunswick Fix. <laughs>